Hi guys, welcome to this van tour of a Peugeot Boxer L3H2. It's a six meter long van, it's in our Kunu layout, and let's take a look inside. single passenger swivel seat and we have this table mounted on the B pillar here. This is a new table leg from Kira Vans and we're really happy with how it looks. It's in a matte black finish and we think it looks really smart with the rest of the black hardware in the van. This table is really nice because you get to look out at the views when you're working on your laptop or you're chilling out in the van itself. First thing the customers chose for their inspirational uh, mood board was these hexagonal tiles. They're in a sage green and dusky pink colour and that's kind of related to the rest of the van. So we've gone for a nice sage green on all the door fronts and we've coupled that with an oak worktop and oak ceiling, which is a really nice pairing. In the shower cubicle, you can see they've gone for a white metro beveled uh, Rico panel on all three walls and a nature's head composting toilet, um, which is a really good product for staying weeks at a time off grid. In the shower cubicle, we've also got a custom made stainless steel shower tray this gives maximum floor space within the shower cubicle. The kitchen worktop is a lovely oak butcher block and we've also got the sink insert which hides the undermounted sink. Um, when you're driving you can stow the tap to prevent it from dripping on the prevent it from dripping on the worktop. We've also got lovely oak trims on the edge of the wall here and these uh, nice spy shelves are made um, from the oak as well. We've got three overhead cupboards for storage on the off side above the kitchen and this end one here has the control panel which features the Victron touch display and the Truma uh, diesel boiler uh, touch display as well for your thermostat and your hot water. Using the Victron touch display you're able to monitor your electrical system so you can see how long you're going to be able to last off grid. And because this van's completely gasless, when you're running the induction hob or the air fryer, it's good to monitor how much power you're using so that you don't cause overload. This van has got a 540 watt rigid frame solar panel on the roof and a 460 amp hour lithium battery from Roma. And that enables it to be off grid and fully electric. To cook inside this van, you can use the twin induction hob here, or you can uh, plug in an air fryer to the double socket here. In the kitchen unit, we've got plenty of storage. Uh, in here, we've got a cutlery drawer with a nice oak divider. This cupboard here is a good size to store a bin. Under the induction hob, you can fit an air fryer like a Ninja. We've got a pots and pans drawer. Under the sink, you've got a shelf for all your cleaning products. And then in, in this bottom cupboard here is where your boiler is kept. You need to have access to this when you want to winterize the van and you've got access to the drain down valve just at the front there. There's another drawer on the garage wall and an 80 litre fridge with a freezer compartment. So this bed is a standard double, one meter 90 by one meter 35, and we're recessed at the head and the foot so that we don't have to put any side pods on the van itself. It's a really good reason why we like the Boxer Ducato relay base vans. We've got the seating area here, and it's modular. So we've got a fixed box seat at the back, which has got a large amount of storage capacity, and the front box seat is movable. And for this van, we've added a new feature, which is the L-Track flooring which enables you to lock the moving seat in place so that it's nice and secure when you're driving. With the box seats apart like this, it's really nice using the table to sit opposite one another when you're dining. But then also, if you're doing some laptop work, again, you can sit in this position, tap away at your laptop and enjoy the view out the sliding door. Looking at the bed area, We've got three overhead storage cupboards at the foot of the bed. These are normally used for people's clothing or other items. They're all on gas struts and you can see a nice curved back on the back of these units. There's a small oak shelf on the end. Above the bed, we've got a max air fan for ventilation.
In this garage space, we've got the electrical unit on the near side, and the main uh, parts of this are the 3000 watt inverter charge from Victron. This allows you to run 230 volt um, sockets off grid up to 2400 watt appliances continuously. There's a lithium battery from Roma, it's 460 amp hours, and there's also a solar charge controller and a DC DC controller. DC DC is a new product from Victron, it's their Orion Extra Small, which provides a 50 amp charge when you're driving. It's a big improvement from the old unit, it's much more smaller in size and it doesn't get as hot. So this is the first time we've installed this into one of our conversions and so far we're really happy with what it does. We've also got a new design of our wheel box on the off side of the Kunu and you can see here that houses an external shower point at the back with a little storage cubby hole um, inside there and we've also lined this box with a nice oak trim. There's also a little storage shelf on top of this wheel arch box and this van has got the dog gate um, which is a, an additional feature that they've opted for which goes on the sliding door to keep their dogs inside the van and safe. There's also a wheel jack for the van and an electrical hookup cable when you do need to plug in in the winter. Uh, we've got a double socket and a boiler fuse here which the double socket is used if you want to be charging things in the garage space like electric bikes. That concludes this van tour of the Kunu layout on this Peugeot Boxer. We really hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more van life content.